this all on schedule for death. I'm a graphic designer, if you guys didn't know. Sailing the Atlantic. <laughs> this camera's not waterproof, so. That we, what we had been in was actually a depression. I just needed to jump in and say that this was our second worst experience on the water that we've had. I'm Carly and this is Brady. In early 2020, <laughs> we sold our house and most of our possessions and took our first big leap into living our vagabond dreams. We recently hiked 800 miles of the Appalachian Trail and now we are purchasing a sailboat to start sailing around the world all while capturing a creative journal of the journey. We hope to inspire you to live your own dreams. Subscribe and thanks for watching. Good morning, everybody. Uh, today is, I believe, a Thursday. It's like 10, 15. And I am motoring up the ICW. I just dropped Carly off with one of her friends to take a two week trip back to Oklahoma spent some time with family, and I am taking Valinor up the ICW um, by myself. Carly asked me to film some while I'm doing this trip, so that's what I'm doing. Um, gotta make a turn here, so I'm gonna try to use Auto Home to do it. But yeah, solo, solo um, helming the boat now. First time. I've done that, and uh, but thankfully it's just motoring, but our engine is having issues, so I uh, don't know what's going on with it. Um, doesn't like to go into reverse or do anything in reverse right now, so I don't know what that's about. But anyway, motoring up the ICW, headed for Wilmington. It's supposed to be, uh, we're gonna go past Myrtle Beach, and it's supposed to be some of the most beautiful sections of the ICW, so try my best to film for you guys. Hello everybody. I'm gonna make a turn right now. I've been motoring for about four hours and it looks like I'm about an hour to hour and 20 minutes away from my anchorage for the night. Uh, auto home's a little difficult to work with. Um, we don't have a fancy auto helm or anything like that. So it's kind of it's kind of finicky and kind of play with it, make it work. But it's what I'm using to steer right now. Uh, just relaxing. Had lunch a couple hours ago, a couple slices of pizza and some lemonade. And it's pretty hot. It's like no wind. I'm reading two knots of wind right now, so it's pretty much dead. Dead calm, but it's uh, really pretty down through here. Um, these beautiful trees. Uh, water is disgustingly dirty, but the trees are really cool to, you know, it reminds us of uh, the AT. These kind of trees and stuff, and it's just a cool uh, atmosphere, ambiance. Uh, been a little bit of boat traffic today, not a lot. Our friends on slow motion who are a day ahead of us uh, said there's a lot of traffic up near Myrtle Beach area. So, gonna have to be very careful around that tomorrow. But, yeah, that's uh, just motoring along. Nothing exciting happening. Uh, I keep seeing osprey nests, which is fun. Some of them have the osprey birds, you know, there, but uh, some of them are empty. And that's it, nothing super exciting. But I told Carly I would film, so I'm trying to film. But anyway, I'm just gonna go back to staring at the chart water. Day one on the ICW by myself is over. I got the anchor dropped here at Enterprise Oxbow Anchorage, which uh, was not easy. I think I picked up anchor and dropped dropped anchor and re-picked it up like three times before the, on the fourth time I finally dropped it in a spot that I liked and felt somewhat okay with. Um, I'm just used to a lot bigger open areas 
so I can put out a lot more chain and I can back down on it better than what I did here because I couldn't really back down on it here because I don't have that much chain out so if I back down too hard it just pulls the anchor up so hopefully there's no storms tonight I don't like I don't like these small anchorages like this because I've got skinny water directly behind me so if I drag anchor I'm dragging into shallow water and yeah it's just not not I don't know and our transmission I think or something is going on with our engine like it's not catching in gear when I put it into gear sometimes it's like it's it's uh, slipping and then I'll finally catch and it makes a bad noise so I think there's a transmission problem so that's something else to sort out later but here at Enterprise Oxbow I've got trees trees all around no sand beaches for us anymore just trees that's the ICW over there and the ICW continues over there where those jet skiers are but this is the it's the anchorage spot. It's about 4 in the afternoon, 4.30 probably now, and uh, it's time for me to be done for the day. Really stressed out about this transmission issue. Just, if the transmission has to be rebuilt, that is not going to be cheap. And not going to be easy either but our engines need some serious love. Yeah, so that's that. I'm gonna go below and get out of the sun and start organizing the boat a little bit better. And that'll be it for me tonight. Just organizing and might play some video games. Might go to bed early. I'm gonna try to get up at like 5.30 tomorrow morning and start on the ICW by 6 a.m. So. We will see you tomorrow. I will see you tomorrow. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Day two of solo motoring on the ICW. It's gonna be a long day today, but the water is very calm, and there's uh, a little bit of fog on the river. Not not too much that I can't see, but there's a little bit. And it's actually it's really pretty. Uh, I'm going to be passing Myrtle Beach today. Heading for Wilmington. Anchorage somewhere near Wilmington. And uh, it's going to be about 60 miles. And hoping to do it in uh, 12 hours. We'll see though. Um, but yeah. It's uh, 7 a.m. And I have not had breakfast yet. I'm getting ready to eat some breakfast. i have a protein drink and some... Uh, just uh, baby bell cheeses, I think is what they're called. And uh, yeah, just another day sitting at the helm motoring. But I need to turn the engine up higher so get moving faster. boats too. Um, haven't seen 
any other sailboats. Not not motoring of the ICW. Um, I've seen a bunch of marinas anchored and things like that, but uh, not not where I'm at right now. Uh, not like motoring and moving and stuff, but just lots of boat traffic. Um, I've still got about six or seven hours to go. Yeah, fighting current right now, so I've lost some of my speed. Uh, I was going about seven knots earlier because I was with the current and then I passed the inlet and now I'm fighting the current that's going out that inlet. And so lost about a, a knot of speed, maybe a knot and a half of what I can do without fighting the current, but the current should shift in the next hour and a half according to uh, the tidal buoys. Just kind of bored. A lot of municipal, residential area that we've been motoring, or I've been motoring through. And uh, nothing super exciting. So it's just kind of a boring trip. Sitting at 2,000 RPMs, just cranking along. Oh well. The sun is just starting to go down. I'm uh, about three miles from my anchorage here in Wilmington. And that's a really pretty sunset. It's been a long day. It's gonna be about 14 hours today of uh, motoring. Quite a while since I filmed. Um, the last time I think I filmed, I was motoring up the ICW into uh, Wilmington, North Carolina. And today I am leaving uh, that area with our friends Slow Motion and Cadence, uh, SV Cadence and SV Slow Motion. Um, and we are headed towards Beaufort, North Carolina. Yeah. Um, Moorhead City area. We're going to anchor tonight and then continue up the ICW all the way to Norfolk, Virginia. And then not sure after that, uh, but that's the plan. But out here in the ocean, um, instead of the ICW today, uh, I've got Cadence and uh, Slow Motion in front of me. Um, we got up at 4.30 this morning, pulled anchor at 5, and it is just now about 6.15, uh, so light enough that I can actually film. But it's a nice sunrise this morning, and uh, the waves are very, I mean the ocean is very calm. And so I have the motor on, everybody has the motor on. Um, I have my sail up to First Reef, uh, I've got it at First Reef. Um, because I think the sail helps to keep the swell roll. Like, I, I think it helps stabilize the boat. Um, so I keep the sail up um, to, for stabilization, even though there's no wind. Like, it's dead calm out here. Um, I'm making, creating my own wind right now. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's it's gonna be a 14 hour day of motoring. Not fun. Um, but yeah, it's, gonna be chilling in the cockpit hanging out motoring all day but it'll be out here in the ocean instead of uh, in the ICW because it cuts off about 20 to 25 miles um, versus going on the inside so saves us uh, half a day and the other two boats may have trouble on that section of the ICW because of their draft um, I could have done it but um, I'd like to hang out with them so um, it's gonna be chill. Uh, I've got the auto helm on and uh, motoring about five, 
5.25, knots, somewhere in there. Uh, I'm trying to catch up with them because um, they're a little ways ahead of me. I mean, not much. They're, they're pretty close. So I'll, I'll film and show you guys. There's Cadence right there. And there's our sunrise. Got slow motion there on the left and cadence over there in the middle right in front of me all right we are sailing with slow motion and cadence right now and uh, cadence just radioed and said they have uh, some candy for me if I want to get close enough to them that we can hand off some candy. So uh, the seas are pretty calm right now, so we're gonna do a quick maneuver to bring our boat next to theirs and see if we can do a handoff. I'll see if I can film it somehow, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, you want me to grab my binoculars? I've got mine. Alright, I'm going to move away and set auto helm. 